Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. And we're back on the PS5 for a quick go on City Driver. I've only done one video on this so far, which was the first look. And we'll talk about some of the feedback to that video uh, as we as we go on into the game. Uh, let's just jump in and do a new session. I thought about taking out the, uh, the fake Tesla. We'll go electric, shall we, in this video. Uh, there's a couple. There's this Model E performance Tesla, which isn't a Tesla. We've also got this Model Z as well, which are quite fancy, uh, quite fancy having a go with. So let's do that. Uh, we can pick a location. I'll just pick anything, I think. Uh, where shall we go from? Try this one, Nord Friedhof. Let's do that. We'll pick that as a as a start point. We'll see what jobs we can pick up because I have since that first look, I've played it quite a bit. So I do. I am a little bit more familiar now with uh, how the game is working. Which, as you remember from the first look, if you saw it, it was a bit confusing picking up jobs. But now I've learned to just drive around uh, and do that. So here's our vehicle, our Tesla, which isn't a Tesla. Even the badge is similar, isn't it? Look. Uh, let's jump in, shall we? So we'll get the door open. We will get sat in the. Now, all we need to do with this is put it into uh, into drive, and uh, we're away. But let's uh, let's get the map up, shall we? If I can remember how to do that, uh, here it is. So we'll pick up a job. We'll go kind of towards where we uh, need to be. Now, some of these jobs I've done before. Let me just try and uh, zoom in on one of these. Friend in need, uh, shall we do that one? We'll set a waypoint, I think, for that. And uh, let's go. We may have to turn around. Now, it's quite quiet because it's an electric car, obviously. So we'll hear all the ambient sounds, but we won't hear much in the way of the vehicle, of course. So we'll do a little mix of, uh, of being in the vehicle and out of the vehicle, I think, for this. Uh, sticking to sticking to speed limits is quite is quite difficult. Um, we're going in the opposite direction actually to where we need to be, which is a shame. So I'm hoping there's some uh, somewhere we can get across to the other side. We'll just follow these uh, these arrows for now. Keep over this side. It's difficult to not speed, I'll tell you that much. Um, but, going back to the first look. So, in the first look... Uh, in the first look, I was saying quite early on that I wasn't sure if this had wheel support. Uh, because I'm using the controller. I do have a wheel, but as you know, it's not set up at the moment. Um, a lot of you have come back to me in the comments to confirm that actually no it doesn't have wheel support which I know a lot of you are upset quite upset about and probably rightly so it is a driving game it should probably have uh, uh, wheel support ready to go um, however it's not it's not in here unfortunately I don't know if there will be a plan to add it later on I would assume that it isn't unless you hear any different um, because I'm not entirely clear what additional work is going to go ahead with this game because the other thing I need to tell you is that um, to my knowledge there hasn't been an update to this game no patch and by update I mean patch bug fixes etc there hasn't been uh, there hasn't been a patch to this um, since it was released, and uh, I will tell you that, and some of you have confirmed this again in the comments. On occasion, the game does crash, and it seems to be mainly when you are going in and out of the uh, uh, the map view. That's, that's been my experience. Now, I've reported this each time. I did also report it to Eurosoft. Um, and uh, I know they acknowledged it and said they would take a look. But I, I haven't seen any kind of patch yet. And I know from the comments, as mentioned, a lot of you, unfortunately, have also had little uh, 
little crashes like that, which can be really frustrating. Uh, I'm going up here, aren't I? Because I need to turn around. All this just to go back. Um, so there is that to consider. The other thing that I wasn't sure of in the first look, but I did pin it quite early to the comments for the first look, is that uh, although this has come out for console, it's only been released for the PS5. So it's on the PC where it's been for a while, and it's on the PS5. So, I again, there's no news about anything to do with the Xbox, so I don't even know if it will be released for the Xbox. That's not to say it won't, but there's nothing official that I've heard or could find from anywhere. So, again, that's disappointing, I know, for many of you, because many of you watched the first look and wondered if it would come out on the Xbox. Um, it hasn't. So it's worth just keeping that in mind. I think I'm going all the way around here and going back the way we came just to go and pick up our job. Um, so it's got a couple of issues. Uh, but I know... Oops, there's a collision. And I've run a red light, apparently. Have I run a red light? I shouldn't be on that curb. Um, so I know it's been a mixed bag for some of you. Some of you are really enjoying it. Um, others have picked it up thinking there would be some kind of uh, wheel support and there isn't, so that's been disappointing. So it's a shame. It's a shame, really. Because I think this game has got some potential. Uh, it's probably not the best graphics we've seen. It's alright, but it's not. It's not Unreal Engine. I don't think it's Unreal Engine. Now come to think of it, I can't remember. I'm trying to think whether it's Unreal Engine or not. I can't tell. It could be Unity, couldn't it? Not sure. Not sure. I need to I need to check on that. Uh, it has been a couple of weeks since I've been on it. Even though right at the start I have played it quite a bit. And as I said, I've got a little bit more used to now how it uh, how it works. So we'll go and find this job, and we'll go and pick it up, and we'll see uh, we'll see what it's all about. Um, oh, the speed is this goes actually it accelerates so fast it really is difficult to stay at the right speed. And whoops, that'll be a crash. <laughs> and there's no cruise control, so I can't yeah I can't set it. I'm not aware of a cruise control, so I can't set it to to 60, and then just leave it. So, that's a shame. I'm annoyed now that I can't remember if this is Unreal Engine or not. I should be able to tell. I don't know if it's not quite Unity, is it? It must be Unreal. Uh, but if it is Unreal, it doesn't look as good as some of the other Unreal games that we've got. And if I'm limited by speed, how come these guys are really blasting past me? See, look there, I'm doing I'm doing this speed now, I'm doing 63. These guys are still hurtling past. That hardly seems fair, does it, really? So I'm kind of within my rights, I think, just to uh, put a bit more speed on whilst they're doing it. Shall we nip back inside uh, as I scroll through the views? It has quite a nice, uh, quite a nice interior sound. I will admit that. Uh, you just don't get anything from the outside, which is the only problem. Anyway, right. So uh, I think we've still got quite a way to go. There's a few stutters, isn't there? I'm going to try and find out. I, I'm going to try and find out the plan for this, um, and if I can, if if I can find out the plan for this, for the future, I'll come back with another short video just to uh, just to update you on that because uh, it's got some potential, um, but um, there isn't. Unlike some of the other games we've seen recently, there is no there is no roadmap that I've seen. So I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. I don't even know on PC if there's been any updates for the PC version since that came out. That would probably help, you know, find out what's going on or what's likely to happen with the uh, the console version. So, speeding again. You see, it's so easy. There's plenty of traffic on the road. If you want a pure driving game, it's quite nice. 
I just don't like from this view, it's just the stuttery mirrors that I don't like. Okay, so we're approaching the city. Now, I'm going to stay in this middle lane. Because we're carrying straight on. It's now not the middle lane. And of course, with these uh, these electric vehicles as well, there are electric charging stations. Um, so you can see just there on the tablet as I look closely, and I don't want to go into this fake FedEx uh, van, uh, as I look closely, I think I'm on 67% battery at the moment, so you do you do need to charge these, and uh, you'll see, well you can see them, you can see one of the minimap there on the left, you see the little sort of electric uh, lightning sy symbol, you can uh, stop your vehicle uh, and plug them in and charge it up just the same as you can uh, drive to the fuel station and fill up as well there's a fuel station there on the right hand side um, so that's all in the game which is always quite a nice touch uh, now I think I'm going up here I should have indicated and then we're taking a left which uh, as I recall takes us right into the uh, the main town We'll stay in this lane. Uh, but you can have some fun with it. Well, what I have learned is it can be a bit repetitive. And the other thing is that I mentioned in the first look, uh, as this is on PlayStation, for each different mission that you do, there is the first time you do it, there is a trophy. And I recall during the first look saying, once you've done the missions, what you know, what happens then? You know, do you get new missions, or is it going to be a DLC pack, or or anything like that? Uh, what I've noticed is that once you complete a mission, the same mission still sits there on the minimap. So you, you potentially run the same missions over and over. Now, what I found difficult is uh, is finding out the missions that I've not yet completed and where they are on the map because you've got to go into the map you've got to highlight every single every single mission that's showing which is a bit of a pain it'd be nice if you had a kind of checklist um, for the missions that you can just uh, tick through uh, but then again they'll want people to, to to play it by just driving around like this so so as you saw me pick a mission in the map right at the beginning what you can do is just spawn in and just drive around. You'll see the missions pop up um, at the roadside. And you can literally just drive around, as the name suggests, city driver, and just pick up a job and go on to the next job and go on to the next job. So I think that is probably what uh, the developers want you to, to play like, really. Um, and I have been doing a little bit of that since the first look, which has actually made it, made it quite good. But if you're a trophy hunter, then... It is difficult to. I'm going to go through this light. Uh, it is difficult to uh, to know which missions you've done, which you haven't, and where they are uh, located. So, I'm going to pop out of the vehicle again. So there's the there's the EV charging points there on the right hand side. You can see. And uh, we're coming up on where our mission actually is now. So again. I've picked this mission out. I'm hoping we've not done this mission yet, uh, but I can't remember. But anyway, we're in the EV, so we'll uh, we'll give it a try in the EV, whatever. So we should be coming up on it now. So that is the mission. You can see it on the left-hand side. That's the mission. I wonder if we've done this one, you know. I think we may have done this. Because uh, we picked somebody up and uh, we took them to the hospital. I'm sure it was that. So I'm going to find another one. So I'll just carry on. Because we did set a waypoint, but it doesn't really matter. We'll look for something else to do. Of course, uh, the minimap's now going to keep trying to guide me to it but I think what we'll do is we'll go to the end of this road and see one there on the uh, on the right hand side so we'll uh, we'll attempt to take this one so let's just wait for the light to 
So I've got my indicator on. It, it, it gives you warnings like if you speed in. I think I mentioned this again in the first look. It, it gives you warnings about speeding. Um, it gives you warnings about not using indicators. It doesn't doesn't really knock you anything off at the end. It just gives you a telling off, basically. Um, and it stops you getting the full amount of stars for the mission. Um, I don't think I've managed one yet without speeding. Because it is difficult. Anyway, let's uh, let's carry on. So we've got the tram lines there, which you will recognise from tram driver. They're right there. So if I carry on up here, I think the mission is on the other side of the road. But um, we'll find a way to get to that. And then we'll pick it up. Should be on our left any time now. There it is, it's in that car park. I can see it there. If that is a car park. So as soon as we get across to this other side, uh, we'll pick that up. I'll just look for uh, for a way to get across. We've got a way to traffic. It looks quite nice though, that. Looks quite nice. And we're driving around the city, but of course, uh, we're not uh, putting any strain on the environment. Well, not much. We're probably still putting some strain on the environment, but, uh, you know, driving the, the electric vehicle is obviously uh, preferable from that point of view. Now, can I turn here? Have we got a turning point? Uh, Yes, we have. I don't know if I meant to do this, but we'll try it. Uh, that will be the uh, that will be the curb that I just hit. Now, how do I get across into this car park? Because that's what I need to do. Have we got an entrance anywhere? There's the mission on the right hand side. Ah, there we go. There's a drop curb here. Right, come on, lads. Come on, we got work to do. There we go. Right, let's pick this mission up. Let's see what it wants us to do. Hopefully, uh, because we didn't look this one up on the minimap, we've got the right type of vehicle to accept this mission. So let's just see. Uh, a colleague and a good friend of yours has asked you to take her car to the workshop to change her winter tyres. All right, so... Well, we need to... Right, okay, so this is new. So we were using the electric vehicle. We're actually taking our friend's vehicle now. So we're taking the Golf, it looks like. Which actually is a Pelota in in, uh, in this vehicle. Uh, in this uh, in this game. So, despite everything I said about using an electric vehicle, uh, we now get to... Uh, we now get to use this. Although, actually, no, is this... No, this isn't. This is electric. Wrong gear and gears. Hang on, let me put it... Let me put it back in park. Right, so we are in a petrol vehicle. Let's now put it in drive. Uh, off we go. Let's go outside. Uh, this isn't our car. We don't want to bump it for anybody. And I'm hoping there is an exit down here. So we're driving to the workshop. Oh, there we go. Can I get out of there? Let's uh, let's do this correctly. Get the indicator on. Anybody coming from our right, our left? Sorry, looks like we're okay. Oh, it's got some beans. This, yeah, it's got some beans. So we need to take it to the workshop, get the tyres changed. Then I don't know whether or not we have to actually drive it back. But this is this is the basis of the game. So you know you can drive around like that, just pick up a job. You don't know what you're going to get. Uh, as I was mentioning, sometimes you need to have the correct vehicle to actually do the job. So there are some there are some jobs where, for example, you pick up uh, 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 timber, planks of wood. You obviously can't do that in the Tesla. 
Um, so you need to be in a certain vehicle. That's the workshop there on the left. I think that's where we're going. So I need to turn around here. Um, but as you can see, and I've not done one of these before, there are certain ones where they give you the actual vehicle that you need, which is quite handy. Uh, and this is where we're going to. So let's pull up. I'm assuming I can just drive on. Pull up. This is the car garage. Now, uh, set the drive mode to park in. Leave the vehicle and interact with the workshop panel. Right, so we'll just hold X. Let's just close that. We don't want uh, anybody robbing that. So, car repair, workshop, open time. It's open 24 hours. You can interact with the location by standing inside the marked area requiring submission. So, yeah, enter the store with X. Sounds like somebody's taking our tyres off. Drive the vehicle back to the marked destination. So, it always says illegal parking, it says at the top. Well, that's not our fault, is it? <laughs> what do they want us to do about that? <laughs> Let's jump in. Uh, the engine, I think, is already uh, is already started, so we are we're good to go. Let's get this golf back. I'm assuming we're going back to the exact same spot. So that wasn't a bad job at all. I'm not sure why our friend couldn't take this herself, uh, but you know, we'll help her out. We're always uh, we're always happy to help a friend in need. Now we've got a green here, so can I get... Oh, it's changed to red. Wouldn't you know it? Yeah, you have to be careful, because if you slightly go over the white line, it tells you you've jumped a red light. Which, you obviously you obviously haven't, but it doesn't like it, so you need to hold back a little bit. Look at this guy. That's a strange way to run. Is that an indication the lights are going to change? The way he ran like that? Could be. Right, let's go back and give it the beans. Now we've got the new tyres on, we've got to wear them in, obviously. Now, I think I can probably... Can I go that way now and get in? No, I will end up... I will end up being up the... Uh, the wrong side of the road, so I need to go where we went last time. That will just take me up that... Uh, up that road that isn't marked on the map. Actually, that's the tram. Uh, that's the tram station, isn't it? That must just be for uh, for a U-turn. That one. So we'll go to the next one. Uh, I'm looking for a drop curb on the other side. Is what I'm looking for to get into the car park. That's not one. So we're going to have to carry on a little bit. And we'll just turn where we did before. Is this the marked location? Maybe this is where we drop off. So we don't have to go across the... Okay. Set the drive mode to park in. Turn off the engine. And leave the vehicle. And that's it, the mission. And I did get a trophy for that. Um, I'm not sure what that sound is, though. What is that sound? I think that's the sound of the vehicle. Although we did turn the engine off. That's a bit weird. So there's a glitch. Oh, we got illegal parking as well. So, <laughs> you can see we got four out of five stars. And I'm just going to get out of the way. Uh, so that uh, I'm going to get out of the way. So we don't hear that noise. You can see over there, you can do the mission again. See what I mean? You can just repeat the mission. It's over there. I don't know where our Tesla's gone. It's gone, hasn't it? Uh, but that's our mission. Uh, it's just a quick one today. Just a recap because I, I haven't been back on it on YouTube since the first look. Um, that's the way I've started playing this. I am looking for a patch. I will admit. I'm looking for a patch that imp improves the mirrors. Uh, amongst other things and improves the crashing we've got a way of it today but it has been crashing a lot i will be honest uh, which is not great uh, hopefully something comes soon i will try to find out some information officially about what the future is for the game if any and uh, i hope you've enjoyed it
I don't know how many of you guys have picked it up, but let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave me a like if you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. Take care.